Marion Harkin MEP, a pleasure to see you today. It's International Women's Day. Now, as a representative, an elected representative of the European Union, do you feel that the European Union is doing enough for women's rights? Well, I suppose we could start by going back to the Treaty of Rome, where for the first time ever, I think, equality between men and women was part of that treaty. So if you like to fast forward to today, what's happened in the meantime? Now, we still have things like the gender pay gap, which is still very significant, running at around 14 percent. We have the pension pay gap, which is even more crucial, and that's you know, much closer to 40% in some countries. So we still have a lot to do, but we definitely have made real progress. I mean, women's employment is at the highest level ever. There are issues about the type of employment they have, low paid jobs, all that kind of thing. But yes, progress made, further to go. Look, we're decades on though, aren't we? I suppose Women's Lib was introduced technically in the 1960s and we are some 50 odd years on from that. <laughs> Why do you think it's taken so long for it to be egalitarian? Because when you change a system, it rarely happens quickly unless you have a revolution. And some people would consider this a revolution, but it's a slow burning one. Uh, but nonetheless, real progress is being made. I mean, there is quite a difference. If I look to my own country, Ireland, when we joined the EU, one of the first things we asked for was a derogation on equal pay. The EU said no. Now, to this day, women still earn less than men, but not for the same work in the same place. That's illegal. But because the type of work that women are involved in, that in itself often means that their median pay, on average, is less than men. That is a multifaceted issue and one that we have to try and deal with. But this is complex stuff. We have taken some of the most important steps. We still have a long way to go on violence against women, for example, but we have taken important steps. And I think International Women's Day is a time to reflect on what we've done. The Commission has come forward with further proposals today. I think the idea of gender mainstreaming is really crucial because you see, it's not a bit here and a bit there. It's not just about pay, it's not just about pensions, it's not just about domestic violence, it's not just about the number of women on boards, it's not just about the number of women in politics, it's about a whole load of different things. And for that reason, even addressing the gender pay gap is quite complex. So, you know, I think, yes, we need to do more, but look, I think we are making progress. We have made progress. Look around you. This place has 33% or 34% or even maybe 35% women. That's progress. Therefore, Marion, would you say it's good to be alive, good to be a woman and good to be in the EU as a woman? Yes, I think so. I think all of those things are true. And though obviously lots of different people lead different lives, if you're a migrant woman in Europe at the moment, you know, is this a good place to be? Well, maybe it's better than where you came from, and maybe it's not. And I can't say that, that my experience is everybody's, but Europe is the best place to live, and it's probably the best place to be a woman right now. Interesting that a woman turned off her light last night, Liberty turned off her light in New York. So I don't know if that was deliberate, or if it was some woman at the controls, maybe it was. Or maybe it was Liberty herself.